kapag dating nung finals. Yeah. Nakakagulat. Oh, Kasi okay. parang ano, sinasabi nila OG going to be either one of the weakest teams. And well, last year ganito yung oh, no, no. parang one of the weakest teams. Pero nobody expected to be uh, nobody nobody expected them to be this good. Kasi nga nung DPC season, parang sila yung laughing uh, yung laughing, laughing joke uh, ng laughing uh, mga champions. Kasi sinabi natin yung Navi after nung 3 year uh, nila stunt nila eh naging ano din sila, naging uh, joke time. Pero it's not that bad. Kasi kahit pa paano, they're still placing uh, in some of the tournaments. OG, talagang nasa na sila eh, nasa slot. Oh. And after, you know, after some time na wala tayong nakikita ng games, we expected going to the TI na nasa lower part na echelon yung uh, OG rito. Pero after the group stage, talagang iba. Iba yung oh. performance yung napakita lang. And I think it's the magic ng OG na parang, uh, again, may something kasi dito sa team na to na hindi naiintindihan ng ibang team. Na every single TI, talagang they always show up. Oh, every single TI yan, no? starting, kahit TI7 actually, I think uh, yeah. okay yung run nila. Pero, uh, syempre, impressive yung run yung TI8 kasi nag-jumpin nga sila. And TI9, no? it, OG doesn't fail eh. Pagdating ng ano, pagdating ng... Uh, doesn't fail Dota fans to make sa pagdating and, ng ano. And then nakakatakot dito, it's the same roster. Oh, it's the same roster, no? And I think... Um, Okay. Although kahit hindi mo nalo itong ano, kahit hindi mo nalo itong OG ngayon TI, pero it's scary to think na pag nagstay sila as this roster and then going in next year. Oh, medyo <laughs> parang, na naman. Oh, okay. Parang yung so ibang teams na no, isipin uh, na naman, ay hindi na naman yung OG, pag okay. na naman tayo. I guess whatever happens here, as long as they don't, ano, uh, they don't fall off the third spot, the, the third place. I Basta mag EG. Oh, <laughs> I, 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 I don't think, I don't think, ano, I don't think magdi-disband tong team na to. L- right now, just making it dito sa my quarter finals mm-hmm. natin says a lot na yeah. upper bracket pa rin sila. And just going into sabihin natin itong uh, game or uh, group stages na parang walang nakahawak sa kanila halos. So, heading Ay, to ano, no, heading to the draft ng ating last game. It's ating last series for today. We only have Enchantress and Invoker. At the same time, Tiny and uh, Mirana on the side of Evil Geniuses. Invoker na naman ni Thompson. Invoker pick. Oh, Actually, yeah. the first game was the first loss ng Invoker ni Thompson. Although, pwede na lang biglang ilagay sa position 4. Yeah. Kasi I've seen Jeras put Jeras, uh, yeah. play position 4 Invoker. So, hindi pa rin sure tong Invoker na to. No? Pwede yeah. flex pick pa rin to. Kasi itong Enchantress, remember si Seb, tsaka si Notin nila na rin nila. Uh-huh. Again, that's the power of OG. That's the power of friendship. <laughs> Kaano sila dito, papalit-palit sila ng hero. So, if you're Evil Geniuses, it's very hard to draft around the uh, heroes sa pinapakita ng OG dito. You might want to get a matchup na nanalo na, 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 na against Invoker, pero it's a poison for you kasi hindi mo alam kung mid laner pa to para sa kanila or si Jerax yung gagamit ito. Exactly, no? And uh, on the other side naman, Evil Geniuses, Tiny Miran. I think itong uh, Tiny ito, semi-deny pick na rin to for the side of OG, mm-hmm. na ayaw nilang mga kalaban itong uh, Tiny ng OG. Mm, I guess so, male... That's one of his signature heroes na rin, if you think about it. Kasi iilan lang yung tumatatak talagang heroes na meron si Sumail. Mm-hmm. One of those heroes will probably be Storm Spirit. Mm-hmm. Yung siya yung pinakamalakas na player yeah. ng Dota sa buong mundo. Mm-hmm. As in, literally, everyone was coining the term the best Dota player. Yeah. Currently, the overall, best Dota no? 2 player overall. Uh-huh. Yeah. Like, all the region siya. Pero right now, naglabasan sila. Naglabasan sila. 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 Ngayon, hindi mo na alam eh. Para sa akin ha. Para sa akin. If ever manalo dito yung OG, I would name Ana the best player in Dota. Overall. Overall. Uh, okay. That's, a, that's, a quite, uh, that's quite the title to, uh, uh, to give. And, well, th- well deserved naman eh. And if they win this, and they win the next year, he will be... <laughs> I think that's gonna be uncontested. Oh, yeah, oh. Diba? He's going to be... Literally the Michael Jordan yeah. of Dota. Kasi yun yung wala tayo. Mm-hmm. For the other games, we have Faker. For other games, meron tayo mga ninja, mga ganon. Pero just looking at it, iba eh. Uh, yeah. It's it's a very different setting for sabi natin OG dito. Na if they do it, they're the first ones to do it. Yeah. And if they do it, it's the same roster. Nothing really changed. It's a title that is yet to be claimed here in uh, Dota. And going back, dito sa, ano, dito sa draft ng uh, ating game, Evil Geniuses, they don't want to uh, give out the faces void anymore to OG. Mm-hmm. Just to prevent this uh, you know, scary monster na pinakita nila nung game 2, na talagang wala silang magawa. So it might be uh, telling us na mag-get Blade naman, si RTC dito. Ako? 
Hero Blade naman ba? <laughs> Mas may lalabasan lang bigla ng ano ng ng ano Earth Shaker itong ano kasi viable pick pa rin naman Earth Shaker dito. Pwedeng i-move si uh, Invoker on the mid lane. Mm -hmm. And uh yes, ay hindi, nabana actually yung Earth Shaker. Yeah, yeah, binana na ng EG. So they're just limiting the uh, heroes of OG Rito. But then, at the same time, marami pa kasi ngani, marami pang possible options dito. Mm -hmm. We still have we still are yet to see the Nature's Prophet of Note. Naalala nyo yung NP ni Note dito nung group stage Autobahn yan. Oo, matik yan. Kasi itong si Note, napaka-pesky dun sa kanyang ano, sa kanyang NP, no? Can roam around the map. Alam nyo kung kailan, ano, kung kailan low yung mga kalaban niya. And then, bigla nyo sasalubong na bulagaan dito ako sa likod mo. So... I like that, bulagaan. Oo. Talagang Tagalog, bulagaan. Okay, I like the draft coming out from OG. Kung iisipin mo, bulaga nga. Crystal Maiden dito. Spammable na lahat ng spells sila dito. Just give us a Crystal Maiden. Arrow, making it spammable is really hard to contest. Hindi kailangan umuwi ni Sumail dito kung siya man yung gagamit dito ng Tiny to get pick-offs just because you have this free-flowing mana regeneration na meron sa'yo at binapass sa'yo ng isang Crystal Maiden. But, For OG dito, they are really expecting Evil Geniuses to pick one big team fight only just because they picked up the Rubik. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're st uh, we're still yet to see yung Enigma ni S4 no mm -hmm. on the side of uh, Evil, G oh, Evil Geniuses. Lapas. One thing that uh, they do uh, like a lot and OG they're uh, one step ahead. Talagang kinuha nila yung uh, Rubik dito. And at the same yeah. time, comfort zone ni uh, Giles. No? Mas ano sure. eh. Mas mas may sense siya kapag ka may Crystal Maiden sa pool. Mm -hmm. Kasi hindi mo kailangan masyado mag-commit dun sa mana region items. Yeah. And you, do, you don't have to get the clarity because it's like the same uh, effect lang mm -hmm. naman. Uh -huh. uh, Nakapag-jungle ka ng mga iskad, walang clarity. You still have the jungle. Yeah. So for uh, Evil Geniuses dito, no, do, do, they, do you show uh, the hero of S4 dito or itatago mo muna yung hero ni RTC? Uh, well, same thing yun. Do you show the hero of S4 or RTC? <laughs> um, I think, oh, kailangan unahin nila unahin muna nila itong si uh, S4 dito kasi sino ba last ban? Ay, sino ba last pick? Last pick is EG. Ah, EG. Hmm, kung last pick ang EG, then unahin na nila yung kay ano. S4 muna. Kay S4 muna talaga. So we're looking at offlane here for oh. Evil Geniuses. Again, the Enigma is still up for grabs knowing na kahit na may Rubik for uh, OG. Oh, Dark Willow. Oh, Dark Willow. So this is an offlane Tiny. Tiny, oh. Ah, I mean... Or offline S4. Ah, actually, paborito nila dati yan, yung offline nila dati. I mean, this could be a Dark Willow mail. <laughs> so, mail. Uh, mail. Well, we do we do, uh, we do, do see na si Crit ay uh, laging ginagamit yung Dark okay, Willow for yeah. uh, Evil yeah. Geniuses. Well, well, it is, ano, uh, it is uh, somewhat of a possibility mm -hmm. kung if you think about it. Kasi, I would put Mirana to the middle lane, but I'm seeing the roaming potential kasi kay Mirana ngayon as a yeah. support. support so as support. long as they don't see you on the map kasi iba kasi yung presensya ng Mirana na support na presensya ng Mirana sa mid mm -hmm. if they don't see you at mid lane kapag ka mid Mirana ka meron ng isang malaking exclamation mark dun sa taas ng mga ulo ng kalaban mo na kailangan nila umalis ng ulti mm -hmm. at kailangan nila magingat yeah. na meron pa nang tatama sa kanila but if you're a support that only means you're not always there. Mm -hmm. Talagang ano, talagang... And it's like a bounty hunter, na parang kapag nawala siya sa lane, hindi mo alam kung nasan siya. Pero, okay. kung hindi ka maglalakas sa loob, hindi mo makukuha yung farm. Yeah. OG picking up the Juggernaut here against Evil Geniuses. Okay. Nag-its a lot on the side of uh, EG, but at the same time, comfort zone again for uh, Ana. Talagang ano eh, paborito-paborito ng OG yung Juggernaut dito ni Ana. And I think it's also uh, perfect for itong uh, lineup ng Evil Geniuses. No? Med medyo... Magic heavy itong uh, lineup ng Evil Geniuses. So, with that Blade Fury, medyo makakalaban itong yeah. Juggernaut. Although, gusto ko yung, ano, ha, gusto ko yung uh, Crystal Maiden uh, Dark Willow Tandem on that support kasi it gives you a lot of lockdowns. Eh, no? yeah. Pwede i-combo yeah. itong uh, dalawang skills na to. And imagine, Freezing Field into at Bramble Maze. Oh. Ako, oh, nanini uh, ako, sure. ako naniniwala pa ako dito kaya pinili ng OG and it's because of the alacrity din eh. Like, mm. so gets ko, mag, 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 get, na, 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 kinita ko na dito, OG, yung jugger na nila kukuha ng Midas to. Mm -hmm. Right now, everyone can pick up the Midas eh. And if you pick up the Midas with an alacrity, parang kaya mo agad lumaban gamit lang yung Omni Slash mo eh. Yeah. At the same time, it adds to the, ano, yung uh, damage output na pwede mo yeah. i-shout during yeah. the Omni Slash, yung alacrity combination. It sinks well with the level 20 talent ni mm. uh, Invoker, yung plus 35 damage and, and attack speed. Sobrang taas ng damage yeah. output Super. ni Jugger na to. 
Oh, Sun King. Sun King pick. Alam mo, nakakatakot yung draft ng OG, no? All of them can be marked on any role, aside uh, from the Juggernaut. Well, actually, yung Juggernaut, nakita na natin TI6. So, nagiging support yan. Lanam actually uh, started the uh, Juggernaut trend. Ang daming, ang daming pumigap nun. So, for OG, lahat sila ay pwedeng uh, maglaro ng kahit anong role. Oo nga. Kung isipin mo dito yung OG, yung pinakaunang pick pa lang, isipin mo na sino yung gamit? Si Sebo, oh, si Note. Si Sebo, oh. si Note. Tapos biglang nung pinili yung Sun King, sino pipili? Si Sebo, si Note. Oh. Oh, si Jerax Thompson, di ba? Oh. Oh. Actually, etong Rubik, pwede rin itong i-mid. I've seen na oh. uh, ano, Thompson played Rubik mid. So, okay, okay na yun. Okay, yeah, okay. yun yung problema ng EG ngayon. If you're EG, what do you pick? Kasi, uh -huh. ano na tayo? Uh, it's the RTZ hero. Yeah, uh, well. It is what Kasi it is. pwedeng Sun King off lane. Pero Evil off -lane. Geniuses, tingin ko tama ka Midnight. They will start off with the standard lane. Oh, oh my god, okay. Oh my Do god. Do you really like the anti mage in this game? Uh, uh, <laughs> no, no. Uh, uh, no. Simulan simula ko yung Greha. Bakit, bakit nakakatawa at bakit no? Ah, uh, kasi medyo... First and foremost, they have synergized with other members of the EG. Although you have the lockdown, but the lineup of the EG here is not good in keeping an anti-mage. Or it's not good in making space for anti-mage. The lineup of the EG is actually built to just pick off, pick off, go around the map. But they are just the damage of the EG here. And I'm actually looking for a pick from EG. Na pwedeng makasama dun sa five Manila na makalabat. Let's say like Alina or or something like that around that. Ano PL can also do. And masadong kriti kasi tong AM. Mahirap, mahirap, mahirap protekta na tong AM. Lalo na may Sun King sa abela. You have the Invoker Tornado, de ba? There's there's lockdowns coming in from the side of OG. So Yeah, I really don't pick. I really don't like this AM pick. Ako, ako yung AM naman dito is a more on more on the idea lang na yung Sun King. I don't like really like the matchup because kapag kada offline yung Sun King dito, hindi nila iniwas. You don't really do anything and and nagiging specialized yung pick off dito, yung yung skill pick up dito to a caustic finale or a sandstorm. Yeah. It all depends on the ano, it all depends on the player kung ano nga ba yung nagkakapa niya na maganda doon para sa playstyle ng katapat niya. So I'm, I'm assuming na uh, both of you will go for uh, OG no in this round. Uh, I have to go with OG. OG. I mean OG. 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 Okay, so again guys. 2-0 na naman. Yung uh, panel na dito in term uh, in favor of OG. Well, nung game 2 pinadala nila yung predictions nila dahil OG yung nanalo. And in this game, papatunayan natin kung mananalo ba ang OG dito or will EG actually take the game away from OG, Butters, and Graham. Kakamustahin ka kayo, ano ba talaga ang mangyari dito sa game ito? And maraming salamat, Mina, ito. Ang tanong, ano ba talaga mangyari sa game na ito? Hindi natin alam. No? Hindi natin We're alam. so puzzled uh, dito sa laban natin na ito. No? Hindi natin... Hindi natin mabasa. Actually, kanina pa natin din natry mabasa kung ano, kung <laughs> ano yung gagawin both teams. Pero... We predicted kung sino yung mananalo, pero when it comes to paano gagawin and all, medyo hindi natin makita, pre. Hindi natin makita, pero RTZ dito. A lot of OG's hopes and dreams are in his hands. And uh, I don't know kung paano nga nilalakuin to. I was expecting a lot of skill spammers on their side, uh -huh. pero an anti-mage isn't one of them. Napaka, ano, napaka, I think this is gonna be a hard game for Anti-Mage. Hindi ko naman sinasabi na talagang, ano ah, uh, matatalo ang EG dahil sa Anti-Mage. Pero still, this is gonna be a hard game para dito sa Anti-Mage. No? And, uh, eto na, this is gonna be the last game of the series, last game of the day. Last game of the day. And just looking at the lineups dito, just looking at the laning, it seems to me that RTZ and the gap is gonna lane dito sa may bottom lane. Pero tatapatan din nila dito dapat yung lane nila ata. Yun yung pinaka problema. In terms of anti-mage and juggernaut, the first three levels, I would put my money on the juggernaut just because you have the capability to hit crits and an AM won't really win. Lalo na kapag ka nag-blade fury ka na. And also remember na meron siyang Rubik. No? So pwede mag-pull back itong uh, Rubik and hold it with the telekinesis. And uh, itong damage uh, being uh, dished out by Blade Fury, medyo hindi mo pipigilan. Pero Sumail will be taking that Merana. Merana dito, tignan natin kung paano yung magiging pressure niya dito. He knows how to play the tiny pero he opted to go for the Merana. And alam natin na isa yan sa mga 
gustong gusto niyang heroes and nung nagkaroon ng meta for uh, Mirana nag-excel siya doon uh, uh, one of the best uh, Mirana users I've seen no, itong Ismail pero ang problem is Mirana has uh, her fair share of uh, rework sa mga nakaraang patches no? uh, although nabuff siya nung nakaraan pero still Hindi ito yung mira na nakikita natin kung ano yung ginagamit ng Smile dati. Iba to. And Ana getting caught out. Ana dito doesn't have one point on his skills. He is gonna go down. Hindi yan nilagay yung play fury niya. I don't know why. Kaya... It's kinda ano, uh, intriguing nga. Hindi nilagay ng skill eh. Itong si... Uh, pwede sana niya mag-play fury yan eh. Oo. Oh, actually, pwede, pwede. Pwede niya lakaran pala ba siya. Pero... Hindi ko lang what anong ginagawa ni Ana dito. Well... It is his decision at kung tingin-tingin niya ngayon na may pinagpipilian siya mamaya mga skin para piliin against an AM matchup, then it's going to be up to him to make it count. Pero si RTZ dito, just knowing on the middle lane, nagkaroon ng takedown on Topson, but Topson returning the favor. Sumail is gonna go down as well. Pero lamang si, ano, lamang si uh, Sumail doon kasi nakakuha niya yung golden experience na nung no, napatay niya itong si uh, Invoker. Pero sa, samantala, sa may top lane, Jerax, saktong uh, jungle lang dito. Distracting itong uh, quick wave. Pero ito, kumata si Jerax dito. And uh, stun is, is available. Hindi ko, uy, like sandstorm siya for, for his second skill. Mm, pero hindi talaga nila, iiwas talaga nila na Sanjing. And right now, things are looking great for the side of EG. Pero kailangan natin nalalahanin dito. What if level 3 comes? Oo. Oh, Yun yung pinakatanong. So, medyo masakit na yan. And lalo na pag tumataan pa yung level ng mga skills nila dito. So that's gonna be a different story. Pero ito si Jerax, pinabati lang itong CS4. Hindi naman ang body lang ito. No? He's gonna go for the Barrow Strike Sandstorm combination para yung Rayhar. Ang Rayham, he's not gonna go for the Caustic Finale na katulad ng pinag-usapan natin kanina. And this is the playstyle na gusto natin malaman. No Tain getting caught out. No Tain dito tatak mo lang at wala na siyang mana dahil ang kalaban niya ay isang antimate. Oo, oh, oh, matik niya, no? And I think ito rin nata, uh, if I remember, the host team Liquid na ginamita ng gantong slot. No? Sobrang kulat ng uh, TNC against Team Liquid. Ang ginawa na lang, pre, inubusan na lang nila ng mana. Eh, Blaze Hell Bank, gagawin ng Blaze Hell Bank. And look at this, RTZ getting clobbered dito. Wala na siyang tango. And he's gonna ask for it for a tango dito mamaya-maya. Pero si Juggernaut, meron pa rin siyang stacks on the tango na dalawa pa. Kasi hindi niya nga pinilit kanina. RTZ dito, lahat ng pinarm niya nabawasan ng dalawang creep or tatlong creep just because he got the sand. And that's the, that's the, sabihin natin, uh, better way to approach it. Kasi kahit yung Ring of Hell, at that point, hindi ka na masasalba. Oo, oh, hindi ka na masasalba talaga ng uh, Ring of Hell doon. Pero ito, RTZ, the problem with RTZ right now, no? Although lamang sa last hits, yes, pero ito si Notail. Delikado si Notail dito, Shadow Realm, the attack will actually kill. Ito si Notail, the 7 seconds out na wala itong Rubik and another kill sa side ng Evil Geniuses. Evil Geniuses dito, really having a great time. Uh, a very... Uh, the lane is going to their side. Yun na lang yung sabihin natin dito. Juggernaut isn't really doing well against the AM right now kasi naunahan niya sa first blood. In terms of levels, yun, mas mauna makuha ng EG level 3 nila dito. That means more time for the anti-mage to just be untouchable at the hands dito na meron yung side ng OG. Pero ito, papasunod si Mel. Nasaan ng tornado lang. Bramble Maze, ang sexy may option doon. Hindi niya matatamaan ng mga Bramble Maze traps na yan. And the game Hmm, pero sabi nila dito si RTC libre Naku po pinagpapalo dito And ito na kasi nasabi natin In terms of trading In terms of trading mga kaibigan It is always going to the side Of Juggernaut dito Seb will go down EG dito is doing a great job And Jerax dito Kailangan niyan tumakas Oo, oh, Jerax Delikado dito Wala na na siyang mana For a Burrow Strike Pero Meron siyang mangga dito Dalawang mangga Para sa panghimagas Ang meron Itong si uh, Jerax Pwede niya gamitin ito To stun it mm. Pero alam mo Parang uh, Graham What you have to see here Is the the efficiency of EG pagdating din nila dito pag nakuha nila yung level 6 nila because I know Jerax dito will uh, Jerax dito will be using the sandstorm hindi yun yung sentence na ginagawa ko pero kinul ko lang oh. uh, pag nakuha nila yung level 6 nila dito look at the Mirana with the MLS look at the freezing field the growth from Tiny tapos yung terrorize na meron dito si uh, uh, 
Dark Willow. Dark Willow. But, ang daming ways para i-take down dito yung heroes ng side ng OG. Uh-huh. Kasi, in terms of magic immunity, ang meron na nag-iisa dito, halos, si Juggernaut. Juggernaut. Oh, yun lang talaga. No? And I think, kailangan na itong uh, ibang heroes to build uh, a BK build kung sila ang ayaw mo stun. There's a lot. Sabi mo nga, parang parang, a lot of catch for the side of OG. So, kailangan mag-ingat dito. Ng, or for the side of EG, kaya kailangan mag-ingat ng OG dito. Kailangan mag-ingat ng OG. Pero dito sa may baba, ang hirap ng pwesto talaga dito ni Ana. Lagi na siyang walang mana at laging merong mana si AM dito. Kasi, meron siyang crystal maid. <laughs> exactly. Pero itong secret tinatanta dito, We're not gonna die, no tail. I think uh, same thing for the game to kanina, no? We can see na medyo nalulugi ang OD dito, pero that's given eh. When it comes to early game, bravo. Oy! Oy, grabe naman yun. Boom. He knows he, out, oh. he knows the setup. Alam niya kung sino yung mababato pa, pero tatalo na lang si Ana. Ana trying to go for the Blade Fury, but he doesn't really have the mana. EG is looking great, and ito na yung sinasabi natin, EG dito is miraculously making this plan work. Delicado no? for the size of EG, no? And uh, yung sasabi ko kanina, no? Yung uh, lockdown dito for the size of, or yung uh, early game potential ng uh, both teams. Malakas naman talaga early game potential ng EG. Pero ang tanong, once uh, etong impetus ni uh, ni uh, Enchantress ay lumabas, etong epicenter plus etong omni-slash, eto pang uh, spell steel no that's that can be a big problem para dito sa EG lalo na very very ano uh, push oriented oh, and on side ng OG no oh, tapos titingnan mo dito yung last hits ng anti mage tsaka ng jungler na hindi nagkakalayo uh, may tendinitis pa rin si Ana so medyo kahit pa paano nakikipagsabayan yung uh, nag uh, ano sumasabay itong jungler na at saka itong uh, AM pero alam mo si Seb dito, having the time of his life, up top, 25 denies. Kinakalaban niya dito yung uh, Crystal Maiden and yung uh, Tiny. So, kailangan natin tignan. Topson dito with the health. They are doing this. The stun is there and they are going to give Arteezy a hard time. Nawalan siya ng mana and the tip coming up from no aid. Grabe naman, ang tip pa. No? Pero that was a good catch coming in for the side of uh, OG knowing na itong si... Uh, si Seb, si Seb, binaplakalagawa si nila. Pero ito, si Seb, delikado dito. Tingnan natin kung ano mangyayari. Seb, mahalili ko lang dito yung Seb. And there goes your uh, stun right here. First count will actually hit. Despite it, pero hindi. Nahil yung kanyang wisp actually saving Seb right here. Pero yun na nga, yung sinasabi kong advantage kanina nung sa uh, clash or yung sa uh, panel pa lang na napakalakas ng hineto ni Ninja. Pero magkakauli ang parun dito. Anti-mage won't have the mana and uh, talagang literal anti-mage siya dito. <laughs> Oo, oh, literal na anti-mage talaga. Kasi si Thompson ang ano, si Thompson ang iayari kay ano, RTC. Oo, oh, mamaya. Rit no? dito, mauhuli. May envy na huli sa ng dalawa na stun. The grapple maze will be there. The two-man stun will be thrown out. Nagkakabatuhan dito. Rit will go down. S4 dito nasa halangan. Ito na ata hinaharap ng OG mga kaibigan. S4 try to run away. Pero naipin na talaga siya dito. Avalanche for ito kinamit pa. That's going to be a very easy kill for the side of OG. Pero Sumail, wala na siyang mana dito. Seb, inalalayan. Sumail, tumatak po ang tingot eh. He has the lead. Merong ice, uh, may gold snap na naba to. Pero hindi na nila hahabulin dito at hindi na talaga nila kaya. Pero here comes the first round. Pinato na naman uli. Thompson gets caught out. And Sumail will secure that kill. Killing spree streak ang nakuha dito kay Thompson. Pero grabe yung rotation na binigay ito ng ano ng uh, OG para lang uh, maging maayos yun. Know? Yes, namatay na siya ng isa pero dalawa naman yung namatay sa side ng EG. Dalawa yung namatay sa EG. And that is a fair trade. Kasi kung iisipin mo, napigilan na naman niya dito si Anti-Mage from, uh, alam mo yun, just farming straight up. Kung baga, tinan mo yung AM ngayon, mas mataas pa yung farm ng Jugger lang sa kanya. Pero, kanina siya yung binugbog. Oo, oh, kanina siya yung bugbog sa lahat eh. Pero ngayon, again, ang pagbaho, pagbaho ng kape. Pero ito naman, sa may uh, uh, bottom lane, no? sa itong farm lang naman, ang ganda ng zone out na ginagawa ng Dark Willow dito. Gamit yung kanyang, ano, yung kanyang second skill. Pero alam mo si Thompson naman dito, you have to notice na hindi talaga siya umaalis ng lane even though he's a Quaspex invoker. Kasi he has the, ano, 
it has the benefit or the advantage or sabi natin the uh, the ability to do so. Pero Thompson dito getting caught out the karo ng ipitan. Chris Brown is there. Brappel may speed na to. Thompson dito. Wala na talaga siyang takas doon. And nice rotations coming out from EG. Pero ito naman. Uh, OG trying to contest with the tier 1 tower sa may uh, top lane. Well, when comes tower pushing naman, lamang na lamang na lamang, na lamang naman talaga. Itong EG, no? Pero... Hindi naman pa natin mo dyan. Pag nag-aid yung structure na tower siya gano'n si Fast Fire sa kanya. Okay, pero tingin naman si Jerax. Mahuli ni Sin dito. First round, it will be the setup na hinahanap dito. Jerax will throw it out. Uy, grabe. Wow. Na-instant pa yung isa. Kala ko may... And Fred siya ang naipit dito. Wala na siyang pata kasi doesn't have the terror guys and they will put yung mukha ng hotel sa tabi. Saktong, ano lang, saktong matawa lang dito. Pero ito, EG right now using that shrine. And I think this might be a good stack para sa EG. This is a good stack coming up from EG. Kahit wala silang pa-clear talaga niyan na maganda. AM doesn't really have the capability to take that down fast. I mean, kaya niya. Kaya ka ba na tagalan? And kailangan mong alalahanin kung ilan yung creeps na nalulus mo sa lane just because nag-take ka ng stack na ganyan. Exactly. Yun yung sinasabi ko sa mga nakakaroon or sa mga viewers ko, no? Na yung, yung, ano to? Yung uh, pag naglalaro ka, no, you need to be uh, careful sa mga uh, ginagawa mo. Kasi this might, uh, that might be a turn around para dito sa kabilang city. Mm -hmm. Pero alam mo, sabi naman dito nila, guys, okay lang naman kami. Nagahanap lang kami ng tamang uh, pinas. Yun lang naman talaga yung pinaka-idea dito ng EG. Pag-farmint lang dito yung AM, tapos pitasin ang pitasin dito yung OG para kapag natin yung AM, wala na silang magawa. Pero Ana dito, Tama yung timing ng date here kanya Isang dito. Isang parang kayong mahapos sa kanya. Not points dito. Ana will go down 100%. Is he gonna use yung kanyang uh, anime? Uh, um, Omnislash. Not the anti-mage. But the Omnislash rather. Mukhang hindi niya na talaga ibibitaw yun eh. Kasi alam niya lost cost na talaga. Nung ginamit niya yung pinakaunang use ng Blade Fury at nakatakas na siya doon at nahamot pa rin siya. Iba na. I think nakita niya siguro or naramdaman niya na isang buong barangay yung mahabol sa kanya. So kahit pag Blade Fury siya, pag natanggal yung effect ng Blade Fury, it's an easy kill pa rin sa side ng OG. So basta papapatagalin. It's a very easy kill. And right now, Crit, nagahanap na lang din siya ng hunting levels niya dito. He has a... So he has the capability to do so. And yung practical base nga dito at saka yung first round, hindi nga nga nalagin na masyadong levels. Kasi alam niya, setup lang naman yun para sa isang pana. Exactly, no? Pero eto naman, si Topson dito sa may mid lane. Little win dito, 4-9-65. Ayun na, luwamang na. Itong si Topson sa may net worth. But still, etong rotation being done dito by OG. May makikita ba sila ang tanong? They are trying to go. On the top tower, nako, pero itong si AM. Nako, kung ba nila, pre, na may ginagawang uh, himala itong si AM, eh. Alam nila, hindi nila nakikita sa rin. So, it's probably on the top end. Pero sabi nila ni Sumail, subukan mo ako, Sumail. Lumapit ka dito. Kapag hindi mo ako tinamaan ng pana, ikaw tatamaan ng si Bat. <laughs> And that is gonna be very uh, painful para dito sa EG, no? Well, pero ito, Avalanche into the toss. It is the damage made of the stun will actually kick in. And Fly will make sure na makapatay. Itong si Enchantress and Seb dying right there. And makukuha pa ng EG yung tier 1 towers may baba. Okay, but on the top lane, talagang tier 2 tower yung dyan na baho dito na Juggernaut. And Juggernaut dito, iiwanan na niya. And look at this, 50-50 pa rin tayo dito. There's no clear winner. Even though EG is getting all of the pick-offs na kailangan nila dito para maalalayan yung kanilang anti-mage. Anti-mage right now, he doesn't have his battle fury. Pero kapag ka dumating yun, expect RTZ to just farm out and clear everything oh. na nakikita niya sa may map. Si, si, ano si RTZ naman yung mawawala sa mapa, sa akong farm lang yan. Pero ang scary para dito sa OG kasi they know how to rotate on the map din. Eh. Lalo na kung meron silang vision. And uh, I would like to comment fly on putting uh, wards on those uh, places na wala naman talaga masyadong vision. Pero... Baka... Naka-relive din pala talaga sila dito kay Ingo. Oo, oh, oh, naka-relive pala talaga sila oh, dito. Isipin mo, halos lahat ng, ng heroes ng EG dito nag-relive sa skill. Pag nawalan sila ng mana lahat dito, wala na. I-yark mo. 
Pero eh, there goes your EMP. Delikado yun. Ito na nga yung sasabi ko. Parang parang wala nang mana. Ito si Tiny. So, mabibigitan siya tumakbo. Pero si Ana, obvious last right there. Delikado yun. Dark Willow, mamamatay. Pero si Sebi, nahabol pa rin yung ibang members dito ng, ah, uh, ng, ah, uh, ito? Ng OG. OG. Okay. Medyo nawawala-wala tayo, pre. Oh, pero okay lang yan. Seb dito, they're trying to take him down. The arrow will connect. Hindi niya nabato dito yung kanyang third skill. He doesn't have the wisps. But he will press it. At aabot sila dito. A three-man tornado. And that is going to be the end of anti-mage. Doon sa kanya na yun. And wow, kung sino pa yung naging aggressive, sila pa yung natanggalan. Pero Thompson dito, trying to go for Sumen. Sumen dito, mga kaibigan. He is just throwing out arrows. He is just throwing out everything he can. Fred Dito, the TV dun sa may harap. Kala niya, kaya nila. Pero OG Dito, they're making everything count. Oh, pero ito, ha? Props kay Sebre. Nakita niya na yung Dark Willow. Papatayin na siya. Eh, nag-ano na. Ano to, nag-third on the second skill na. Ito, Dark Willow. Ang ginawa ni Sebre, eh. Pinatuhan niya ng ano, deepening blast para hindi maiba to. Yung, uh, yung uh, masakit na dami ng third kilo. Pero Shadow Ren, ang bigat, ang bigat na ginagawa. I mean, uh, kung isipin mo yung ginawa ng Thompson doon, that, uh, that 200 IQ play, Tornado EMP, hindi siya ganun kahirap tignan pero to catch three people oh. at the right angle, yun yung mahirap. Mahirap yun, pre. Mahirap talaga. Minsan nga, hindi ka pa nakakulong yung tornado sa pub games, diba? So, iba ang ganda ng agulo yun. And to fight the right position sa isang lugar na puro chaos ang nangyayari. Kasi literal chaos na yung nangyayari ka rin eh. Iba-iba yung away, iba-iba yung hinahabol, may sinasapak sa taas, may sinasapak sa baba, may hinahabol. To throw that picture perfect na EMP and tornado, ang ganda. And ito, Pre, mukhang uh, ayaw ng pakawalan ng OG yung kalamangan na dito. They're gonna get their this year to tower. Pero ito, si S4 nahabol. Naku, nakatang papalik. Maiisat pa siya dito. And naku, S4, he will actually go down. Dahil lang nagbato siya ng isang puno. Oo, oh, no? Medyo katika na rin si Sigur nung magbato ng puno, eh. Oh. Kasi ano, yun, napahabol oh, yeah, no, siya. Ayan, 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 1v1 sila. Oh. And right now, RTZ, you don't have your battle fury. Nasa, papunta ka pa lang sa Demon Edge mo. 2,300 pa yan. You still need about, uh, what? 2, 3? Oo, oh, oh, mga 1, 2, 2 yung ano eh. Oo, mga 1, 5 na lang kailangan. Mga 1, 5 na sa ganun. So, tignan mo pre, no? Diba? Etong si Jogger na, itong isa yung OG. Eh, meron lang, ano, Meron ng battle fury, pero on the other hand, mukhang mga kandalawa, toss back. Pero ito na, lalaban na ata. Itong OG Tornado right now, into that EMP and mga nandito. Itong si Seb, Seb also dealing a lot of damage. Thompson also hinahabo dito ni S4, pero invisibility. Si Seb dito, 1v3. Oo, 1v3. Literal 1v3. Ana dito with the help and with the support. Pero kung iisipin mo dito kung paano nila i-take down talaga dito, si Seb, yun yung pinakatanong na hindi nila masasagot oh. as of now. And right now, Ana going for the Blade Fury. Nakod na ba si Tiny dito? Ah, uh, oo. Oh, Nakod na ba si Tiny? Nakod na ba no? Pero eto na nga. OG right now, no? Winning with the lanes left and right. Mati yung sa gitna, no? Itong pinapakali. Ito, hindi ba katakasabi? Hindi na ba yung ganyan lang? Yung ganung bagay lang, makapagbato ka ng tornado, do not let them go up, do not let them go go dun sa mas madaling pass. At dahil tinulak mo lang siya dun sa malayo, you got the kill. Oo, oh, and uh, matulong din dito ni Otopus yan, tsaka ni Nobel. No? Grabe yung uh, coordination na ginagawa ng OG, OG dito. Grabe. Bayad na bayad si Seb sa Enchantress. Oo, oh, sobra. Bayad, as in literal na binuhat niya halos yung mga team fight kong early. And uh, in, oh. isipin mo, uh, parang Rehab, first pick to, hindi nila hinanapan ang sagot. Oh. And right now, wala ka lang silang sagot. Oo, oh, and ngayon, nabubugbog sa lato. Itong AG, in fact, itong may isa pa si Nozel, Kurt Cloud will be here. Pero itong grabe na yung damage. The arrow will actually hit dito. Pero yung deepening blast, finally killing ito sa Dark Kilo. Pero top is now trying to run away. And that's a four-man rotation set. I don't think they will chase. Hindi nila kayo chase si Seb dito. Si Seb dito magagawa na lang siya. Wala na yung freezing deal. Wala na yung isang skill nila 
na kaya mag-take down ng Enchantress ng tuloy-tuloy, which is the freezing field. Without that, hindi matatakot si Seb dito kahit kailan. Wala, wala. Wala dapat, wala dapat kita ko si Seb. Unless magkaroon ng BKB, eto mga course ng EG, pero friend, mukhang malayo pa sa auto. Men, Aganim. Aganim, Spirana. Ay, Diyos ko po. That heavy uh, star form uh, skill. Ito, babalik tayo dun sa magic type ng Mirana na nakikita natin nung uh, last TI nice. or nung mga nakarang TI. So this is quite intriguing. Ano yan? Ano yung, ano, ano, ano yung TI ng Boston Major? Eight? Seven? Seven, Seven yeah. Oo. Oh. Kasi 2016 yun eh. Oo, oh, TI. Hindi, yung kasunod doon. TI-7, tama. TI-7. TI-7 yun. Doon yung may kaya na lumabas. Oo. The next level play. The next level play. Six! Boston Major lumabas yun. Bala ka. Yung warlock, yung warlock. TI-6, ano, doon nag-comeback yung OG. Yung TI, yung TI na 2-0 yung ano, yung TNC. Na 2-0 yung OG. Ah, okay. Sige, bala sila. Pero yung S4, mga kaibigan, will go down. Hindi, huwag ka makikipag-disipin dito. Hindi, huwag ka makikipag-disipin dito. Hindi, huwag ka makikipag-disipin dito. Pero ang ganda ng ano, ang ganda ng uh, pacing dito na ginagawa uh -huh. na. Kahit paano, no? Uh, alam mo na lugi yung OG kasi, ay lugi yung EG kasi, pero kahit paano, in-slow down ng EG yung base para din siya na makapag-push, pero eto na, delikado na ang OG ngayon. Meron na siyang, uh, meron silang ages, so lalaman na talaga yan. Mm, pero alam mo, sabi dito ni ano? Sabi dito ni RTC, magpaparm lang ako na magpaparm. Nakakaka-abol naman ako. Pero ang kailangan niya kasi abol mo dito yung jogger na na may 12k na network. Oo, oh, actually, parang hindi pa nga ata buo oh, itong manto style ni AM. No? So, medyo tagilid talaga ang papur natin. Siyempre. Oo, oh, hindi talaga nila papagpahingahin to. Ganito naman talaga lamaban sa isang AM. Huwag mong pagpahingahin. Huwag mong bigyan ng space. Huwag mong pagpahingahin. Kumbaga. Hmm, pero... Jerax dito. Just doing Jerax things. Oo, oh, pinubuha niya yung ano. Ah, uh, pero kung yung Storm di naharap dito sa may creep wave na parang ano, ano mabawasan yung mabilis makapag-push yung creep wave niya. Si RTC dito nagmamadali na, pero si Ana dito, literal nag-repent lang yung gagawin nila buong pagdamag alakity, blade fury, tatakasan, tapos aantayin yung cooldown, maging blade fury ulit. Ha, akyat! Ganun lang, rinse and repeat. And right now, without the fortification, It only takes, like, sabihin natin, isang ganun pa o dalawang oh, ganun pa para lang matake down yan. Oo, oh, bagsak yun. Pero eto na nga. Itong OG ngayon, eh, saktong, uh, I think get, they want to get more items dito. You might win. Para sa akin kasi ngayon, parang Graham, you might win the laning stage. Pero it doesn't really mean much kung hindi mo siya mapanilindigan pampasok dito sa mga rotations na. But just, just to worry in that one, uh, parang batters, uh, EG, ang gusto na talaga nila, nananalo sa lanes. Kasi pag nananalo sila sa lanes, there's a big chance na mananalo sila throughout the game. Pero ito, Moonlight Shadow has now business. May maaabutan ba sila ang tanong? Pero yun, yun yung ano eh, yun yung... Uh, isang factor na pinakita ng OG na hindi totoo. You might win your ano, you want you might win your games, pero it really can win your games straight up. Kasi yung pinapakita nila ngayon, alam nila na meron sila power spike na hindi yung maahawakan. At kapag ka nahawakan yung man yun, more or less, may mamatay sa'yo. May mamamatay talaga sa'yo. Pero ito, first cloud dito, parang kay Sanjera, o yung Seb actually, pero ito, Omni Slash mamamatay. Ito, Tiny and his might be Start at the end, fast design ng ng EG sa upper bracket. And fly dito, getting it with the impetus. Impetus dito, mga kaibigan, just one more. Kung pinilit niya pa yun na isa. So, strike dito. No tail will get that kill. And no tail, dinala niya sa sarili niya talaga doon para nag-take down si fly. Oo. Sobrang ganun ka-dedicated itong si No Tail dito. Pero ito, si Eto si Seb right now, ginamit na itong epicenter. Pero Shadow Rel, tignan natin sa hapang itong jogger na ito. Busy lang sa mga ganda park. And so man, dito can't really do anything. And right now, S4 going in just desperate moves. Desperate times call for desperate measures. And even though you're desperate, that doesn't really mean na may magagawa ka ngayon against OG. It's their cry power spike. You can't really do anything about it. And kung ako ang satanungin mo ngayon, this is really GG for the side of EG. Oo, two set of rocks na yung nawala dito. And wala pang buyback. Ito si Tiny. This might be very bad. Sukuhin na rin nila itong mid lane dito. Nakahuli pa nila dito yung sumail and sumail. 
getting bursted down and he will die. He will die 100%. And this is the OG ngayon, no? Although there, there is a clip wave naman sa loob na Messi, hindi ko alam kung bakit ito naman sa clip wave. Itong si AM kasi kahit kung paano may clip wave dun sa may bot lane, which will count para mamatay. Itong uh, ano to, back to protection. No? Alam mo yung may mga oras na talaga na gusto mo nalang gawin. Uh, na para sabihin nalang na may nagawa. May mga mga. Uh, pero it, it won't really matter. RTZ dito just trying his best. But the AM pick didn't really work out for them. He has the BKB. Mana Void will be thrown out. Nakaya siya dito, pero Ana, they don't really care after that Mana Void. Saan naman gagaling yung damage? You don't have Zemaine. Kung siguro kasama mo yung Zemaine noong panahon na yun, baka pwede pa. Pwede, pwede. Pero, and also, this is too early para dito sa lineup ng EG. Pero ito, ito yung try po pasok. And that stun, delegato. Ito si AM. AM will go down without any buyback. Kung kapatay din, ito si Tynes. Tinatanda na ng Impetus dito, pero si Zemaine will actually get that kill and si Seb top Ito, to right now. Sige, na-takedown na niyo oh. si Juggernaut. Meron niyo si Aegis. Na-takedown niyo si Rubik. Wala kami pakialam kasi sa totoo lang, wala naman talaga kayo panghanggan sa Enchantress namin. I think, no, wala talaga. Wala talaga nga, ano to, wala talaga nga magawa dito ang lineup ng uh, OG or ng EG, no? Sabi ko nga, it's too early for uh, OG to push dito. Kaya medyo na caught off guard yung EG. Wala masyadong items ito eh, EG break. Pero sa totoo lang, hindi nila talaga kailangan ng items just because Jugger not look at him. Oo. Oh. So, Manta, Battle bat Fury, Manta, Scotty. Sko po. At 26 minutes in. And I think this might be easy. And this is it. This oh, is it. Ito yun. They're just stalling it out. And they're just waiting for the last defense. Nagagawin nila tayo dito with a response, pero will he make a difference? That is the question. Kasi ngayon, literal na dinadaanan at uh, binabasura ng OJ yung base dito ng side ng EJ. Pero ito, mukhang buminis pa pre. Itong side ng uh, OJ, nag-back pa ng konti. Hindi lang focus sa may ancient. Pero ito, the damage right there is just too much. Pero may damage pa yung avalanche. Wala siya din yun. Itong si Dark Willow and there goes your AM using that mana voice. Pero wala pa rin na mamatay. Thompson din nahabol yung AM dito and AM needs to go back. Pero mamamatay no, na ito. It's RTZ and RTZ will just go down from here. Mamamatay din ito. This is game. This is GG. And for the second year in a row, OG sending EG to the lower bracket. May inaabangan pa 